everybody. So good to see you. So good to have you here joining us. Um, I'm Beth Sheely with St. Paul Street Evangelization here for the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and I am blessed to be joined by Bob Wilson. Bob, how are you doing today? I'm good, Beth. Tired, but I'm good. Oh, an amazing, amazing weekend of evangelization here in Detroit. That's for sure. Three days of being immersed in getting out there and sharing the good news. Amen. 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 I know on Mondays we like to uh, talk, pray in a special way for all those who evangelize. So we have our little list here. I'll let Bob kind of go through it and, and tell you a little bit about what we did this weekend. Sure. We want to pray today, especially for the Vermilion team, David Boardwine, Pittsburgh team with Tony, the Pottsville team that's in Pennsylvania as well with Josette. Sean Kelly led the Tempe, Arizona team, and then Jeff and Matt went out for the St. Joseph team in Lake Orion. And then later this week, Debs hit in the streets with in Awatana and then Jeff and Matt again for the St. Joseph Lake Orion team. And then of course we had 70 evangelists from all over the country come to Detroit and it was a glorious event. Many people were witnessed to, prayed over. We had some healings, some miracles, great stuff. Yeah, that was it was an awesome week. I'll let right, you so lead the prayer. Yeah, let's begin in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you for inspiring our teams to evangelize. We ask your blessings for all those that we encountered. And we ask, Lord, continue to work in their hearts, drawing them near to you. And continue to bring healing, physical, spiritual, mental, whatever, to those that we prayed with. Please bless, protect, and strengthen all evangelists and team leaders who said yes to you and your mission to bring the gospel to others out on the street. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You expired, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father almighty, creator of heaven and earth. And in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 
have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, (laughs) eternal Father, we offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us that in difficult moments we may not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. John Paul II, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Again, thank you. Thank you all for praying with us. It's such a blessing to have you here as part of our, our prayer warriors, our prayer team. Um, and I could really feel it this weekend as we were um, evangelizing. You know that it's the Lord is working behind it. I don't know. Um, I, I wanted just to share a little bit. One of the things we did is go door to door. And when we were going door to door, it started raining and our poor evangelists are getting soaked. But it was amazing to hear them in their joy. And as they talked about how, because of it, it was raining, they probably met different people than if it wasn't raining. And they were, um, some people really had great, you know, like felt sorry for them, come on in and talk longer. And so it's just one of those things that God you just submit to whatever God puts in front of you and you do the best with it. And they had a lot of really good conversations, despite the weather that was trying to keep us, keep us from visiting folks. Yeah. So true. You know, God, you might, you might want to give special attention to those folks that invited them in. So you, you don't know what God's doing behind the scenes, but he's going to work for the good for everything for the salvation of souls and your prayers help all that you're working with us for the salvation of souls street evangelization.com if you're new to this um, check us out um, you can see um, some of the amazing things we've done you can watch some of our videos uh, both bob and i have videos out there that kind of help you to learn how to evangelize um, you can hear the stories from the street go to our blog and just read how the lord uses a simple, you know, imperfect vessels, and somehow he makes it work, it makes fruit come from uh, our encounters. Yeah, we also have a forum too. So if, if you're like, well, how do you, how do you answer the question when somebody says, uh, how can you still be Catholic with all the, you know, all the abuse in the church? Well, we have people that participate in these forums, and then they can help you how to deal with those objections. And so, yeah, and if you can submit your own too. How do you handle a family member? Or how do you talk to a Jehovah's Witness? And so you can post and say, how do I handle this? And so we have all kinds of great tools for you to learn how to become a better evangelist. Yeah. I had a good encounter with two young people. Um, they were uh, from Southwest Detroit. They have uh, Hispanic descent and they were, they had some of their sacraments, maybe not all of them, but they just never really stayed with the church. And I said, well, when did you stop going to church? And they said, well, when we were little, and they're young, 24 or so. And I said, you know, maybe you should look at, it, look at it from a man's perspective. You know, you left as a little boy. What is a man, what is a, what does the church say? Look at it as a man and, and it's investigated. So, you know, what you said yes or no to, you know, and, and that kind of, he kind of perked up. It's like, oh, you know, because yeah. it's true. People just drift away and they never really make the decision. So, yeah. You want them to figure out what they walked away from because, you know, we talked to plenty of people out there and they're like, oh, I'm good. I'm good. You know? And we're like, well, well, I thank God, you know, praise God that things are going well for you. But you know, none of us gets out of here alive. What about the next, what about after death? You know? Mm -hmm. And they're like, I try not to think about it. And we're like, well, <laughs> well listen, I have a lot of that. God's got a great plan for you. You don't, he doesn't want you to be afraid of it. And he's got even a, a greater life than this for you if you just follow him. And so mm -hmm. the people need to be told about, 
God's great plan for them and how sin ruined it and how Jesus makes it all good again, even better. Yeah. That's true. That's true. All right. Well, with that, um, we will see you all tomorrow for praying. Uh, put your intentions in the uh, comment section so we can include your intentions too. And uh, with that, I guess we will see you later.